Alright, Saints fans, back today with another video, and today we're gonna be going over the fucking Bucks draft. Who gives a shit? But let's get this shit started. Alright, so first pick in the Buccaneers draft. Uh, scares me a lot. Do not want to see the Saints defense guarding this man, but OJ Howard. Um, this man had a great combine. Very impressive, I think, sophomore season, junior season, Alabama. I'm not sure. But he had a great season in Alabama. Not a lot of production, but showed a lot of flashes of, like, potential NFL traits. And the combine, he just, I think he ran, like, a 4-5. Just crazy stuff. Number one tied in the draft, no doubt. Um, guy's very impressive. Be, like, 800, 900, maybe a 1,000-yard receiver first year, maybe. But... He's going to scare me. Uh, I love the pick. Great value. Uh, I don't think they could have gotten a better pick here. O.J. Howard's going to help James out. He's going to be that number one, two combo between him and Mike Evans. And it's going to open the field up a lot more for James. So I love the pick by them. Hate it because I'm a Saints fan. But I think it's a great pick for the Buccaneers. All right, next pick in their draft. They got Justin Evans, safety out of... Uh, where it's Texas A&M. Uh, really like the pick. I don't know if there are better safeties on the board. I think they might have been. Maybe. I think Marcus Williams might have been there still. Um, Marcus May. Uh, just off the top of my head. Buda Baker, maybe. These are maybes. I'm not sure. But uh, a good safety. Uh, solid at Texas a and Great ball skills. Um, I don't know. A great athlete. But... They needed to replace the safety. They had, what, Keith Tandy running around in the backfield. Now they're going to have a good number one safety, uh, starter safety, my bad. And I think that he can produce for them year one, and I think that they're going to be really happy with this pick. All right, next pick in their draft, Chris Godwin, wide receiver out of Penn State. Another great pick by them. This draft was really scaring me by them. I think they're going to be really good next year, but uh, Chris Godwin – great slot receiver he's gonna work great out of the slot position he's gonna get a lot of yards he's gonna be like a number three option it's gonna open the field up even more for Jameis last year Jameis had no one to throw to now he has Deshaun Jackson Mike Evans Chris Godwin OJ Howard uh this team's gonna be dangerous but I uh, really like the pick by them this man had no business being in the third round where they were selecting but people were sleeping on him. Uh, great player, great pick. He's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be like um, I don't know, maybe 600, 700 yard receivers of him every year. So it's a great pick by them. All right, next pick in the draft, they got Kendall Beckwith, linebacker out of LSU. Uh, another great pick by them. It's gonna add some depth for their linebacking core. They already got, I think he's probably gonna sit behind Lafonte David maybe. But another great pick by them. Uh, this draft is gonna be really good. He might be a starter next few years, but this LSU team has been producing some great linebackers recently. Duke Riley this year, um, a couple other players in the last few years. Like These linebackers have been really impressive, and I think that he could be a great starter for them coming forward. All right, last pick in their draft, Jeremy McNichols. Hold on one sec. If you're still in the video, go comment Chicken McDonald's Patty Cakes. All right, but next pick, Jeremy McNichols. Uh, I think that this is a really good pick. Another Boise State running back, uh, you know. I saw this one thing in the YouTube comment section. It's like receiver, I know, um, what you call it? It was a Texas A&M player named Mike, or no, Evans, sorry. What's the last name? Evans. Uh, what you call it? A Boise State running back. LSU linebackers, like. They're building their team again, but sorry, that that was retarded. But I uh, really like the pick for them. Great player. Uh, I know I say it about everyone, but I think that he can be a number two change of pace running back for them, and he can really help out their team. That concludes the Tampa Bay Buccaneers draft. What do you think about it? What are your opinions? Comment down below. I'm out. Peace.